Bend on the run. With the world coming to an end and we're about to drop dead, I have been really researching ways to survive. I've been playing zombie games, I've been playing post apocalyptic games, I've been taking notes, I've got a whole wall sprawled up in my room. How I'm gonna survive? I've got weapons, I've got guns, I've got katanas, I've got crossbows. Unfortunately, where I live, I cannot find myself a gun. But I'm working on some backdoor deliveries through mattresses. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. But I've been researching body armor. I feel if someone's gonna shank me shoot me or something like that i might as well try resist it slightly and i came across this fantastic video but the video is kind of concerning when you see this man so the man on the right is the ceo the one who owns the company he's very confident in his body armor in fact he's so confident he's entrusted one of the entrusted members someone who by the look of things will actually want to run the business one day with stabbing him repeatedly <coughs> Christ. I mean, did you see that, ladies and gentlemen? That, that was scaring me. That guy looked terrified. His face was like, oh my God, what the fuck is he doing? He said he was going to be gentle. He said he was going to be kind. You know, maybe he's, you know, I shouldn't have given my, uh, you know, my second in command the opportunity to stab me because he actually wants to run the business. He wants to take over from me. Look at his face there. He's like, oh, what have I got myself into? For fuck's sake, why did I do this? I know I'm the CEO. I want to put my life at risk and be cool. For fuck me. <laughs> So he's demonstrating now what looks like a, um, I don't know, what's that, something you, you, you peel potatoes with? You know what I mean? I, I'm looking for a machete now. All right, we've had the knife. We've had the, the Bowie knife. It's time to whip out the fucking machete, the katana. Whip out the big guns, Daniel. Watch this guy. His second in command's about to go ham again. I'm just cringing watching like it makes me nervous like what the but that's a lot of trust you've got to have in your own equipment and i suppose that's why he's doing it it's good marketing technique i you know top my hats off to you but my god this guy looks like he's got a vendetta he's looked out to kill him he doesn't want to do this for much he's like i'm not being a second command any longer yet prick you know it's almost like a scene out of like i don't know a tv show isn't it it's like oh no it went wrong what a surprise i would have thought that the body armor was fake and i gave you a fake one so i could take over oh you want to arrest me for murder oh shit yeah i didn't think this through very much Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. See, it still looks like it tickles, though, doesn't it? That defo hurt. Oh, my God. Holy fuck. Oh, mate. I don't care if I own the business, bro. You get some randomer to do that. Say, I'll give you 50 quid to just stand there and take the night. I ain't doing that shit, bro. If this is about to take off and I'm the CEO, right? I'm like, I'm not dying before things hit the sky. Like, this is my product. Like, this is what I've worked my whole life for. Imagine that. Killed by his own product. His own faulty products. Oh, mate. Imagine if he got sold a dud as well. Oh, mate. You'd be fuming. So, yeah. It survives the nice knife test uh, quite aggressively. Very violently. I almost appreciate it. It's fine. Did you hear? We're not finished yet. Come here. And this one's not even like a knife. This isn't even to prove durability. This is just to, you know, knock some wind out of it. It doesn't matter if you wear a, a bulletproof vest, mate. A baseball bat, the chest is going to wind you like shit, mate. <laughs> yeah, turn around, mate. This is off on your ass. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Holy diddly diddly doodles that was intense it survived knives it survived machetes it survived baseball bat i don't know what the frick is going on anymore in life this is actually someone's job to stab someone with knives and things like look, look i've done my research and i know this is the best best product out there and i know for certain you americans will back me up i mean this looks like an absolute bad boy product one that would work wonders in the zombie apocalypse i'm preparing after covid19 i'm looking forward to covid20 because i will come on top bro i've got tins of soup tins of everything water military rations i've got solar panels i've got a, a car that isn't e that doesn't require you know any sort of petrol it just fly it's crazy bro and when the zombies come you bet you bet them dollar i've got some weaponry i've got you know all right the guns are hard to come by mate i'm getting this body armor as we speak it is in my amazon gift card and it's gonna be put in my secret little hiding spot which you'll never find it's in my garden thank you don't come and find it but yeah this is some crazy ass body armor shit man this is like next level the world is absolutely off its head i mean Imagine going to see this and you just see a man getting stabbed and he's okay. Imagine if suddenly you just saw red spewing though, you'd feel a bit, oh dear. Maybe it doesn't quite work as well as you think. Oh, that machete though. When he whips out the big Don and he just goes ham on him. Oh my God. Oh my, at least it works though. I think I'm going to get one, you know. I think that's a sick invention.